tonight's message is the Piper's Hand. Let's go to prayer in this town. Lord, we come to you right now. And we thank you for your word. We thank you, God, that we can come and worship, worship you. And to worship you in spirit, spirit and in truth. I thank you, God, for, for giving, giving, giving me your word to share with, uh, with others, God. And I praise you for, for that, God. I ask you to, to put your word in my life to my mouth, Lord, that they be your words, not my words, Lord. And I thank you, I praise you, and give you all the glory in your name, I pray, amen. The Potter's Hands, the Potter's Hands, we have a Potter, his name is Jesus, the Lord made us, created us out of dust. He created us out of dust. Tonight, I want to look at, at the book of Jeremiah 18, verse 1. It, it says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the Potter's house, and there I will call thee to hear my word. Then I went down to the, the Potter's house, and behold, he he wrote he wrote a work, a work on Wheels. In the in the, the the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the puncture of the puncture. So he made it again another vessel as seen good to the puncher to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of e O house of e Israel, <laughs> of Israel, can I do with you as I do, as this puncher? Says the Lord, can I do with you as this puncture? Says the Lord, behold, as the clay is in the puncture's hands, so are ye in my hands, O house of of Israel. Of Israel. God wants us to, to, to allow Him to form, form us. He wants to allow Him to shape us. It's what He created us to be. Sometimes we are Get, get cracked. We get, we get damaged. We get broken. 
suppose we don't see any, any way to be fixed. Sometimes pe people come along and look at us as, as a broken vessel. But God is the potter. God wants us to, to do what this potter in verse 3 did. Or verse 4. The potter made it over and over again. We fall <laughs> we fall short of God's glory but he can remake us he can reform our lives in the way that he wants it to be. I don't have this, this in my notes, but in Jim, Jeremiah 29, 11, Jeremiah 29, 11, 11 says that he has, he has, for I know the thoughts. I think told you, says the, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of, of evil to give, give you an expressed, expressed, expressed in. You see, like I've, I have said many times before, right now you might be in a place where you don't want to be. You might be in a desert right now. You might be down in the valley right now. But listen, the God that we serve, the God that we serve has plans for us. He has plans for each life, each of our lives. And we don't, we don't know what they are right now. We don't know what, what his plans are for our lives. But he is our partner and we are the clay. Since that is think that song about the clay. He moved me. He made me what I was supposed to be. The clay, if you, uh, you can re remove the, you can remove the clay into what seems to be broken. Let's go to Isaiah 64 and 8. And then Isaiah 64 8 and then it says but now, O oh Lord, thou art 
Oh, Father, we are the key in their art, in their uh, partner, and we are the work of the hands. You see, it says that God, God me, God me, me us out of dust and breathe into us. He can do whatever he wants with us. He wants us to have a full life. A life of peace. Verse 9, it says, Be not Rod the very sorry of the Lord, neither remember iniquity, iniquity forever. Behold, see, we be teach thee, we are all thy people. God knows that we are going to to fall short sometimes. We are going to come short of the glory of God sometimes. And it 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 was David that prayed create in me a clean heart of oh God. That was in Psalms 51 verse, verse 10 but it says create in me a clean heart of oh God and renew your spirit within me. You see, that heart, that heart that you have right now, that might be heavy, give it to the, the puncher. Give, give it to the man who made that heart. Don't give it to a man that is that is out of the world. Some people will go to a psychic or a fortune teller. That that is not what God what you to do. He wants you to come to him. And if you tell tell him about your problems and to trust him. Come to him and to trust him that he will remake that heart. You, that heart might be dark. It might, might be angry at God. It might, might be sad. God can, 
gonna take a height of darkness, a height of, uh, of stones, and turn it into a height, a height after his own height, like King David. Let's go to the book of Ephesians 2 and 10. It says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. God has already walked ahead of us. He has already seen where we are going. He's been in our, foot, in our footsteps long before we were ever, 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 ever born. We are his workmanship. We are his creation. And we should do his will. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we we ask, what is his his will? His will is for us is to live like G G Jesus Christ. That is his will for us. And Jesus himself says, says that we are in his hands. In the book of John 10, 27, to 29, it says, My sheep. He's talking about the people who, who know him. My sheep. Here. My voice, my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life. They shall never, 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 ever, never perish. I can tell neither shall any man put Pluck them out of my hands. My father gave them me. My, my father which gave them to me is great, great truth. Oh, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's 
we are safe in his hands. We are safe in the Potter's hands. A good Potter will not let his work go. He will take care of his work. He will not leave you. He will not f f forsake you. But he will carry you in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Oh, no. Do you know the puncture? The pot the puncture. Do you know? Do you know this puncture? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because he wants to know you. He don't care what what you have done in the past. He don't care where you are right now. All he cares about is knowing you. He don't want you to. He don't want you to get cleaned up before coming to him. He wants you to come to him, and then he'll clean you up like a fisherman. A fisherman does not catch a clean fish. I've never heard of a clean fish before it is caught. The, the, the fisherman, the fisherman has to clean out the fish. And Jesus wants you to come to him so you can be safe in his hands. And that is, that is what the, I, God gave me to give to you tonight. Just know that you are in His hands. Know that He will never leave or Forsake you. Last week, I I preached on sheep, sheep. How he he will never leave his sheep. His sheep are safe in his hands. 
to I think go through the door and I think go through for every, everything the Lord because you again we read thank you for your word guys we thank you God for your word and God we thank you for holding us in your hands for keeping us safe Lord, let us, let us learn, let us learn to, to, to trust, trust you more. And I thank you, God, again, for your, your word. Give you the praise, the praise, honor, and glory. In your name, I pray. Amen. And amen.